Meaning we are now at the part of the impulse momentum uh, theorem. So we are going to deal with the uh, relationship of impulse and momentum. Ano nga bang kinalaman na itong impulse sa ating momentum? Okay. So this um, impulse momentum uh, relationship is uh, based okay, on the Newton's second law of motion. Okay, wherein you have the concept of force mass acceleration. Okay, so pwede rin natin siyang ma-state, okay, ma-re-state yung uh, Newton's second law of motion, okay, ng impulse and momentum theorem. Okay, so sabi natin dito, yung impulse, okay, malalaman natin yung impulse na experience ng isang object if we uh, get the values of force and then the time interval so when there is an object and then you apply a force on that object and then you have okay a given time then it experiencing uh, that's what we call impulse okay since force is si unit newton time is second so the si unit of impulse represented by i is newton second and we know that momentum is P is equal to mv. So, sayang na sa na tayo dyan. P is equal to mv. Ngayon, ano ba ang kinalaman okay, ng, uh, ng impulse and momentum sa isa't isa? Anong kinalaman ng impulse and momentum? Kinalaman ng momentum sa impulse. Okay, ito yung kanilang relationship. Okay, ang relationship is yung change, yung pagbabago ng impulse okay, of the force. Okay? is nababago niya yung momentum ng isang object. Meaning to say, nagbabago, okay, pwede rin sabihin na nagbabago yung momentum kapag may pagbabago doon sa impulse of the force na in mo sa isang object. So, yun yung kanilang relationship. Okay, we could, in mathematical equation, okay, since changes momentum, okay, also basis on uh, basis of change of the impulse of the force they are equal okay so when we say change of course there is final state and initial state patulad nung pinag-aralan natin ng grade 7 parang acceleration na no? merong uh, final velocity minus initial velocity over final time minus initial time something like that so ito na naman tayo ng mga v not v not na yan so when we say again not that is zero not no yung parang Okay, yung ginagamit natin sa tools, no? So, not below zero. So, meaning this initial state. So, we know MV is from the momentum. So, final momentum minus initial momentum. That is the changes in momentum. And again, on the impulse, okay, we have the force, the product of force, and then the time interval. So, there's a time interval. Merong TF minus TI yan. Final time minus initial time, okay? And then we have here, of course, if we set this the t sub i, this initial time, into zero, okay, of course, ang mukha lang magkaroon tayo ng value na yung t sub f lang, yung final time natin. So, if we put it to zero, t f minus zero, of course, we have the t f only. So, we have f t, okay, equals m v minus m v sub o, okay, or uh, final momentum minus our initial momentum. So, they are relatively, okay, they are relative to each other, they're equal to each other. So, nakadepende, no? So, pwede natin sabihin na yung mga kuha natin dito, okay, is also equal with the momentum. The impulse will also equal to the momentum. So, let us have the sample problem 16.6. Alright, on the sample problem 16.6, Okay, and sabi dito is a force of 56.0 Newton okay, on a 25.0 kilogram body for 12.0 seconds. So, hindi natin alam kung sa ang direction in-apply yung force. Basta may, nag, may force na in-apply sa 25.0 kilogram na body natin na mass na 56.0 Newton and we know that it is on 12.0 seconds. Okay, nangyari. So, sabi dito, find... The, imp the impulse, first find the impulse produced by the force. So, hanapin doon natin yung impulse na na-produce ng force na to. And then, secondly, uh, the resulting change in momentum of the body. Ano yung 
uh, nagbago sa ano yung pagbabago sa momentum ng object na to okay considering yung ating impulse na nakalculate and then thirdly last the speed of the body okay pagkatapos ng 12.0 second assume that the body starts at rest so assume daw natin na yung body daw is nagsimula sa rest so hindi siya gumagalaw okay so let us first have the a okay let's find a sabi natin dito sa letter a impulse produced by the force we know that the formula for impulse is i okay is equal to ft so i is equal to force times time and we know the force is 56.0 uh, newton multiplied by the time 12.0 seconds okay if we uh, multiply that 56 times 12 we will have uh, 60 uh, 70, uh, 672 newton second okay, so that is our letter a and then for letter b basic lang yung letter b natin kasi ang sabi nga natin kanina sa impulse and theorem okay sabi natin yung pagbabago ng momentum is nakadepende din okay doon sa change ay pwede rin, ay equal doon sa change ng impulse okay, of the force meaning the 672 magnitude, okay, magnitude is value. Okay, the 672 value, this is also the momentum. Ang mangyayari, bago lang yung ating uh, SI unit. So, 672 kilogram okay, meters per second. Kasi nga, di ba, kanina ang sabi natin, F, T is equal to M, V minus M, V sub 0. So, equal lang sila na yung impulse. Yung makukuha mo sagot sa impulse, equals nyo sa momentum. So, kaya ito naging sagot natin. Yung nagbago lang sa unit. And for the third one, okay, ang sabi is, uh, yung, the, the speed of the body, what is the speed of the body at the end of 12.0 second? Assuming that the body start at rest. So, using the impulse momentum, okay, hanapin daw natin yung speed ng body. So, we know that the formula is Ft ayan, is equal to mvf minus mv sub 0, final momentum minus initial momentum. We know that the impulse is 672. Okay, 672 newton second. And ang ating... Uh, NVF minus MV sub 0 okay. sabi daw okay, let's say daw na yung ating body is okay, nag start sa rest okay. then we are finding for the speed okay, what is the mass we know that that is 25.0 kilogram Okay, and we are finding for this uh, V sub F okay, at the end of 12 seconds. We're finding the V sub F. Okay, the value for this is of course 25.0 kilogram para naman yung body natin. Hindi naman nabawasan yung, team, yung ating mass. Yung sabi daw V sub 0 assume the body start at rest. So magiging uh, 0 to. Okay, 0 uh, meter per second. So pag pinagmultiply mo yung 0, 25. Of course mawawala to. 0 times 25, any number is multiplied by 0, is 0. So, matitira lang is 25.0 kilogram V sub F. Okay. Okay, so, going back, so, sabi niya kanina, may 672 tayo. Okay, is equal to 25.0 V sub F na lang yung natira. Okay, kasi nga yung, yung ating initial is multiplied by 0. Okay, so, para mag Matira sa isang kilo si V sub F yung hinahanap natin. We just need to divide both sides by 25.0. Cancel. Okay. So, we have at V sub F here. Okay. And this, we need to 672 divided by uh, 25.0 uh, okay. would give us... 672 
divided by okay, 672 divided by 25 would give us 26.88 and we know that on the problem the smallest decimal is one the least decimal place is one decimal place so we could have uh, 26 point nine and we know the SI unit of velocity is meter per second so that's it for the sample problem 16.6 .6. thank you so much